Now I want to motive, I want to talk about accessing um, cell arrays. I want to take a step back a minute and remember we had just plain old vectors back when life was simple, and we had plain old vectors. We can only do simple things. Um, when you wanted to access something in a vector, you did the parentheses. So if I actually wanted to access a 39, I'd do the parentheses, and I'd access the third thing in this vector, and that would be 89. Okay? Well, let's talk about doing cell arrays. Well, if I, if I think about it, I'm going to go back to my backpack analogy here. So my poor, my poor drawing. It's a backpack. It looks like a rock. Uh, this is my backpack. Um, inside my backpack, pack, which is, I'm going to call cell array, are these Ziploc bags, right? And I'm going to call this cell array A. Okay, and it's got things in it. And just like if I wanted to reach in here and just grab a bag, so the drawing's going to get worse. Uh, so I got a hand here, and I'm reaching in, and I'm grabbing a bag. I'm grabbing, and each one of these bags has something in it, and I'm grabbing this bag, okay? Well, just like I reached into an array and grabbed the array, I reach into the cell array and grab one of these bags, right? Um, that's just saying A with the parentheses around it. If I want to go in and grab the first level of stuff, I do the parentheses, right? Uh, which is what we've been doing before. If I want to go in to uh, a structure or a data structure or an array, or a vector and grab something, even a cell array, I'd use the parentheses. That's how you go in and grab something. It just so happens with cell arrays, I have two levels. I have to get the bag, but then there's another level which doesn't exist with vectors and arrays. I want to also get what's in the bag. So the parentheses get the bag itself. They get the cell itself. But if I want to know, if I want to get what's in the cell, then I have to take it down to another level. So once again, another bad illustration here. Hopefully it helps get the point across. Uh, so I'm going to go, now I'm going to go into the Ziploc baggie. And I'm going to actually I'm going to go in there. And I'm going to actually grab what it is inside the bag. I'm going to grab the item inside the bag and pull it out. And to do that, I use the curly brackets. So I use the braces both to define a cell array and to access values. So uh, I use them to define a cell array and to uh, access, oops, access the values in a cell array. All right, so it's two layers. It's the one layer I can get what's in the bag, but if I, if I, excuse me, I can get the bag itself out of the cell array, and then the next layer I can actually access what's inside the bag. So this is necessary in a cell array because I have to get inside the cell. Uh, this allows me to access the cell. The curly brackets allow me to uh, get what's inside the cell. And so let me go to. MATLAB and run this and so I'm gonna go back and show with a regular vector right um, I use the the parentheses and I can access um, something in the vector well the same thing with um, a cell array I use so there's a cell array and I use the parentheses to access what's in the cell array but if you notice also over here in the workspace, it's of type uh, cell. Um, and so you see the braces around the 42 as well. So getting the first thing is actually getting the first cell. If I want to get the contents in the first thing, I use the braces here and step through. And you see now contents 1. So cell 1 equals the cell 42 with the brackets around it. Sorry if I said braces, the brackets around it. And then contents 1 equals 42, the actual number 42. And if you go over here, you look at the type of, of cell 1, it is of type cell. And contents 1 is of type double. Okay. Uh, let's look at all the other values here. 
On 13, I get cell 2, which is a 1 by 3 of type double, so it's an array of type double. And then if I actually get the contents of cell 2, it, you can see it is an array here, excuse me, a vector, a vector of type, uh, of type double. Okay. Um, I go to line 16, and it accesses the cell 3, is the cell with Amy in it. If you look here, cell 3 is a cell. And then the contents of cell 3, uh, once again achieved by using the braces here, uh, is of type char. It is a string. You look at the icon, that you know it's of type char. And then uh, the last element in this cell array, uh, I go to cell 4. It is a, um, it is a cell because it has the brackets around it. If you go up here, you see cell 4 is of type cell. Uh, and then I step one more. The contents of that is the logical 1 um, because it had a true here. So it's a logical 1 um, in the workspace. So once again, to access the cell, you use the parentheses. To access what's in the cell, you use the braces. Now we're going to look. We've done accessing. Next video, we're going to assign values. And we're going to assign values to cells, which basically we're going to put things into the Ziploc bag.